welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. And those will be our starters. Some intriguing matchups on the floor tonight. Sit tight. We'll be back in just a moment. Welcome, everyone. It's great to have you with us. Tonight, the 9 and 10 seeds in the East will vie for a chance to... Hey, Allie. Well, Bam Adebayo grew up with his mom in a single wide trailer. He said, quote, I watched her struggle. And as I got older, I started thinking she doesn't deserve this. My whole devotion became getting her out of that trailer. And Brian, with this max extension in 2020, he said, quote, knowing that she's set for life is such a... Great story, Allie. Thanks. So let's take a look at the Chicago Bulls starting lineup. They've got DeMar DeRozan. Alex Caruso is out there with Patrick Beverly. Then there's Zach Levine. And it's Vucevic in at the five, down low. And for Miami, Lowry and Hero are the backcourt. Bam Adebayo is out there with Caleb Martin. And it's Butler in at the three slot. We've got two conference rivals squaring off tonight, Grant. I'm sure both teams have been eagerly looking forward to this one. Well, we always enjoy these rivalry matchups. I mean, facing a rival you've been battling in the rankings is always rewarding. And as a player, you get fired up and are ready to do whatever it takes to get the win. A solid all-around player, Jimmy Butler, understands the importance of sharing the ball with open guys. Beverly finds Vucevic. Now Levine. Six to shoot. Not going to go that time. Adebayo passes to Lowry. Hero outside. That's tipped and stolen by Caruso. Pass to Vucevic. Up top, Beverly. Six on the shot clock. And that one no good to start off the night. He expects to make every one of those, and we expect him to make them, too. Here's Adebayo. And it's Chicago with a board. I'll tell you what, I think he thought that was going in. I sure did. And here's Caruso. Outside Levine. Back to Caruso. Shoots from 12. It's rebounded by Jimmy Butler. Not an ideal start for them. Still looking for their first field goal after four misses. Lowry outside. From the wing. The Heat rebound. There's the three. And he's missed his first two shots of the game. The Bulls have gone 0 for 4, missing their first four attempts. And it's DeRozan missing. <laughs> Just brutal. I mean, five straight misses to begin the game. After receiving heavy criticism in his second year, Tyler Hero came into the 2021-22 season on a different level, averaging over 20 points per game. The Heat with the lead. Adebayo passes to Martin. Back to Adebayo. Butler on the wing. And he lobs it up top. And Adebayo slams it in. Wonderful play. With that long wingspan and huge hands, Adebayo catches and finishes with ease. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. You know, with Hero Smitty, his play earned him the sixth man of the year. And he ran away with that award, B.A. And it wasn't only because of his prolific scoring. Hero also displayed his playmaking ability. And he improved on the defensive end as well. Here's DeRozan. After missing his first attempt, now one for two. This is where DeRozan is one of the best below the foul line making plays. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. Yeah, he made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Hero outside. Pass to Adebayo. Banked it in off the glass. Adebayo's got six points. Chicago trailing here. Caruso, the pass to Levine. Now here's Beverly. 
Back to Levine. And here's Vucevic. Counted by Adebayo. Here's Levine. That one falls. Coming off the Vucevic feed. Good instincts from Nikola. Finding the open man. Lowry outside. Pass to Adebayo. And looks like an illegal pick was set. That gets the ref's attention. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. So difficult to stay planted, especially with all the motion around you. Annoying turnover. Levine passes to Caruso. Here's Vucevic. Outside Levine. Oh, they get a hand on it. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will retain possession. And all quarter long, it's been the same story. Inconsistent with his offense. Butler finds out a bio. Shoots over Levine. And out of bio, the bucket on the assist from Butler. Give him eight points now. With a lethal mix of strength and length, Bam out of bio can wreak havoc down low. Denied by out of bio. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by out of bio. And we have to take another look at that block. And that kind of rejection early on energizes your squad. The coaching staff just loves this kind of hustle. Pass to Caruso. And here is Vucevic. Just five on the clock. From deep. Great body control and the long reach. Bam out of bio was all over that shot. Hero with it. Picked up by DeRozan. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. So Grant, what an opportunity for both of these teams. In the past, they'd both be in the offseason, but not this year. Nine and ten seeds who may have had some bumps in the road through the season. They get a chance here to prove if they have what it takes to be a playoff contender. Yeah, no doubt, B.A. The whole season has come down now to this one game. You win, you get a chance to play another game. You lose, your season is over today. Well, we may just be in for a wild ride in this one. We've seen some incredible games since the play-in tournament format was introduced. It's a very unique atmosphere in here right now. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. The officials were right on top of that one. And let's take a moment here to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for the Heat. For me, they made a point to attack inside early in the game, and it's paid off for them. A lot of solid looks in the paint. Yeah, also, you got to appreciate how unselfish they've been. I mean, the ball movement has been impressive, and the assist numbers are off the chart. The first free throw is good. Oladipo is checked in for Hero. Williams is checked in for Chicago. The Sumu comes in for Beverly. Now a timeout called by Chicago. Yeah, hoping to tap into something that'll get them clicking. Yeah, these guys need to work together as a team, as a unit. Try and carve out some easy buckets. Kevin Love's checked in for Miami. Chicago has gone 0 for 3 from downtown. Levine passes to Vucevic. Here's to Sumu. The three ball. Doesn't go for him. Defensively, it's hard to account for everything. They gambled off him, and it worked. Here's Lowry. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. It's been an ugly quarter for him. Trying to shoot his way out of it. Might be time to work on the playmaking skills. Pass to Caruso. Fires the three. That one falls. Coming off the Vucevic feed. And that's what he's looking for. After three straight misses, finally finds the mark. Outside Butler. Back to Lowry. Love against Williams. Back to Lowry. And the layup falls. And the Heat lead by seven. Great job scanning the floor by Kevin Love. Using his vision to find the open man. 
Caruso, the pass to Levine. Pass to Vucevic. Outside, Williams to the right side. And here's Caruso outside. Love grabs the miss. The Heat have gotten 50% of their shots to fall so far. They're 5 of 10. Outside for Butler. Pass to Adebayo. Hey, in six attempts, he's made five. Talk about efficiency. Continuing to stoke the fire, his shot making has been absolutely superb. Desumu on the wing. Outside for Levine. Drains the triple. Levine's got five points. Love the confidence from Zach at the arc. He doesn't doubt himself for a second. Back to Butler. We've got a minute 48 left in the first. And the shot goes down. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Caruso against Oladipo. Caruso, the pass to Levine. And the dunk by Levine. Smarter, not harder. Alex Caruso calls for the pick and roll and gets his team a shot. Back to Lowry. For three, Oladipo. That shot off the mark. Now Chicago takes it the other way. No question who's in control of the board so far. And when you look at Ayo DeSumo, he's not your typical facilitating guard. He can score also. Doesn't shoot the ball too often, but when he does, he knocks it down. The Heat have gotten 7 of 13 shots to drop. And it's Butler off the drive. And Miami again with the bucket. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Outside Levine. Back to Caruso. Right side Levine. Pass to DeSumo. Oladipo against Caruso. And the three off target. You hate to pile on, but his poor shooting night has really hurt the team. Butler with the bucket. Getting out to a nice lead. Great flow and great execution. Levine against Butler. Now here's Levine. Defense right on him. Goes back up. And even after two offensive rebounds, they just can't take the lid off. And as we conclude the first quarter, a one-sided game so far. Heat out in front, up 11. Stay with us now as we get set to bring you quarter number two after this. Welcome back to the second quarter of this play-in tournament matchup. And quite a position here for the Heat to be in. What do you guys think? Just excellent first quarter defense. They've been really getting after it. Yeah, they were very physical and very aggressive. They've just been the better team so far. On the wing, it'll be Hero and Butler. Kevin Love out there with Bam Adebayo. And it's Lowry in at the point. That's the group on the floor for Miami. This is where Bam goes to work, which in turn draws the D's attention. Free throws good, out of bio. Bam, out of bio gives this team so much flexibility. Playing multiple positions and doing whatever the team asks. Good on both. And Smitty, how about Bam out of bio? He really diversifies this team offensively. He does, B.A. He's a consistent scorer, and he's fierce on the defensive end, guarding smaller guys. Levine finds Drummond. Caruso outside. Sinks the tray. Caruso's got six. Alice Caruso's off the ball action is excellent. Knocked loose. Pass to Lowry. Now here's Butler. Hero with it.
The shot, no good. Good work defensively by Caruso. DeRozan passes to Levine. Caruso outside. Pass to Beverly. Releases. Adebayo grabs the board. Adebayo's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Butler can't get it to go. Well, the Bulls shooting a poor 25% for this game so far. Hero against Caruso. Drummond. Great positioning on the putback. Drummond is very active on the offensive glass. This is where he can pile up a lot of points. Back to Butler. And he lobs it up to the rim. Oh, Drummond with the block. And that's out of bounds. Miami will retain possession. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. Butler's shot is good. This speaks to how assertive Butler is. Good at getting deep inside and finishing. And here is DeRozan. A real weapon on offense. Averaging around 24 and a half a game. Pass to Levine. Looking to end this cold spell. Good D by Adebayo. The Heat have gotten only one of four shots to go in. Here's Butler. And that one falls. His fifth basket in seven tries. Often delivering as much punishment as he takes. Jimmy Butler with a nice finish through contact. And here's Beverly. Back to DeRozan. Over to the wing. Shot clock at five. Levine. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Well, Grant, one thing Levine has done since entering the league, he's taken his strength training very seriously. No question. I mean, he can play a much more physical brand of ball now. We even see him post up with his back to the basket, converting through contact. It's just part of his overall evolution. And he knocks down the first one. You know, Zach Levine's never averaged fewer than double-digit points in his career. But he didn't get picked for the All-Star team until his seventh season. You know, one area where Levine improved in his first All-Star season was efficiency, Smitty. You're correct. The scoring totals were always impressive. But his effective shooting percentage took a big jump up. Zach's playing the smartest basketball of his career. Free throws good out of bio. Well, an all-star appearance for Bam Adebayo in 2020. Grant, you think he can get back there? No doubt. I mean, I think the bigger issue is we've seen his numbers taper off just in the postseason. Can he reverse that and bring his best when it matters most? Here's Levine. Adebayo grabs the board. Adebayo's got nine rebounds now. He's had a tough time getting it going, and he's put this team behind the eight ball. Their interior D continues to look shaky. Not a good matchup for them right now. Chicago calls timeout. The wheels have come off a little bit leading up to this timeout. He is taking some low percentage shots, and it's killing the floor of their offense. More motion, more ball movement. That should lead to better looks for him and for the entire team. Here's Beverly. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Soft touch off the glass. When he's not shooting threes, you'll find Patrick Beverly at the rim. Here's Lowry. 33 points last game. Pass to Butler. Here's Hero. Shoots over Caruso. And too long on the shot. It's a shot you would think he would make, but he just doesn't make it all the time. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. An all-star in this league, Zach Levine gets to go to the line. 
First one falls for him. He's in attack mode, drawing contact now, getting to the line, something he didn't do at all in the first quarter. Martin, he's checked in for Miami. Vincent comes in for Lowry. Pass to Vincent. Back to Hero. Butler with the ball. He's guarded by Caruso. The shot. And Butler the bucket on the assist by Hero. Butler's got 15 points. I'm sure Coach is loving what Jimmy Butler is doing. Playing with real heart and getting his points. Pass to Drummond. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And they seem to have taken a more heads-on approach this quarter. <laughs> and it's getting them to the free throw line. And he makes a first. Well, now when you foul Drummond, he can hurt you a little bit at the line. He's much improved. For Miami, they've gotten four of their first nine shots to go here in the second. And out of bio slams it in. Not the tallest center in the league. He more than makes up for it with those crazy hops. For Chicago, they've gone three for seven here in the second quarter. Caruso against Hero. Outside Levine. Now here's Drummond. He's averaging about six points per game. Shot clock at three. Well, there's the shot clock violation. So they'll turn it over. The Heat making a switch here. Robinson's checked in. Outside Butler. Here's Vincent. Beverly defending. Ooh, lots of contact on the shot. So two free throws will follow that whistle. First free throw is good. Zero wasted trips. They're doing their job at the line. No good on the second free throw. And a different kind of score. DeRozan attempted 741 mid-range jumpers last year. Almost 300 more than anyone else. And the basket is good. This is where Levine has really expanded his game. Avoiding tunnel vision and getting others involved. And Andre Drummond is going to pick up the foul. That's foul number two for him. His second foul in as many quarters. We'll see if he backs off or stays aggressive. Some changes for Chicago. Vucevic, he's checked in for Drummond. And it's Desunmu in for Beverly. Outside Butler. To the left wing. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call. And grabbed DeRozan. High volume from the mid-range and extremely accurate. You know, B.A., he consistently makes about half those shots. And defensively, you know that's his favorite area. But his ball handling and vertical negate anything you throw at him. The Bulls making a switch here. Williams is checked in. Caruso against Robinson. Caruso, the pass to Williams. Four on the clock. Over Butler. Williams misses. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Pass to Vincent. Up top, Robinson. Now out of bio. He's guarded by Caruso. Good work defensively by Caruso. Here's DeRozan. That's in there. Vucevic with the assist. Vucevic has got his third assist of the night. Selfless play by Vucevic. Giving it away to a ready shooter. Pass to Robinson. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It's going to be on Alex Caruso. Good job attacking by Robinson. Taking his shot right into the coverage. And that one misses. White, he's checked in for Chicago. And he's good on the second. 
the Bulls have gone 5 of 10 in the second quarter. Pass to Williams. Back to White. Shoots over Robinson. And the Bulls tack on two more. Kobe White glides around the court with the ball on the string ready to shoot. And no hesitation. Robinson passes to Adebayo. Here's Butler. Oh, the teardrop falls in. Butler's got 10 points now, just in this quarter. His shot making has been superb this quarter. He's taken over this game. Back to White. Pass to Vucevic. Got a bio with a steal. Butler against Williams. And it's Chicago with the board. DeRozan's got four rebounds now. 136 left in the second quarter. White finds DeRozan. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. DeRozan just keeps getting better. Incredible longevity. Started every game after his rookie season. And Smitty talking about DeRozan. A key piece to this team, no doubt. You know, B.A., he just continues to improve his skill set. Already an elite score, now sharing the ball more than he has in his career. Also doing some dirty work on the boards, too. And it's Vincent off the drive. Opening close, and he drops it in. They saw what the defense was willing to give up, and they seized that opportunity. Pass to Desumu. Now Vucevic. Williams passes to DeRozan. And Chicago again with a bucket. DeMar DeRozan's bread and butter. He has a great feel from the mid-range. Back to Vincent. Outside Butler. Jacks up a three. They get it back. Here's Adebayo. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. 2022 was a tough year for Patrick Williams. It was only five games into his second season when he went down with a bad injury. The first one falls. This game is defined by heart and hustle. Bam Adebayo will be welcomed by any coach on any team in any league because he knows he makes a living at the line. He invites contact and sometimes even initiates it. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. For Miami, they've gotten 7 of 15 shots here in the second quarter. And he's going for the lob and finished off by Adebayo. The emergence of Adebayo as a scorer, this franchise has to be ecstatic. Here's DeRozan. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. That one on Martin. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. Shooting two. That's good from DeRozan. I mean, a terrific free throw shooter, DeRozan, really pushes the action, looking to score and or get fouled. He's living there tonight, a tough guy to guard without fouling. And the bonus, he's going to knock him down. Now Butler. And he gets the bucket. Butler's got 19 points. They're punishing those late defensive rotations, getting good looks inside throughout the half. And we've reached halftime in this one. Heat out in front, up by 11. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be back in a moment. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everyone. That was a... Bam Adebayo had it going on in the first quarter. He had 20 points, three assists, and one block. Shaq, your thoughts on the Heat? The difference so far has been the efficiency of their offense. The ball movement is really good. They're not afraid to use the whole shot clock if they have to. Overall, they're making every position good. And now, Kenny, let's get your opinion on the Bulls. Shot. Was anyone boxing out? 
I mean, if they didn't box you out like this, you'd have 50 just on offensive rebounds. I mean, they got to put bodies on bodies or fundamentals. And that's a wrap. And welcome back to the action in the third quarter of this all-important play-in game. It's been a clinic out there by Bam Adebayo. And given that he's just delivered a double-double through two quarters, I'm excited to see his stats at the end of the night. They're asking a lot of him, shouldering the load in a number of areas. You just hope he has enough left at the end. Well, the Heat's shooting about 56% in this one. And so in the game for the Bulls, we've got Patrick Beverly. DeMar DeRozan is out there with Zach Levine. Then there's Nikola Vucevic, and it's Caruso in at the two spot. And Butler the bucket on the assist by Hero. Hero's got three assists in the game. Continues to develop as a playmaker. It's nice to see Tyler Hero create for others. Back to Caruso. Beverly outside. Three-pointer off the mark. Beverly's gone two for six from the floor so far. Adebayo passes to Butler. Here's Lowry. Beverly defending. Hero outside. Rare turnover for them tonight. They've protected the ball, and they're trying to protect this lead. Just a superb read on defense to come up with the block. Yeah, obviously he had the shot well anticipated, able to shut it down with authority. Martin against DeRozan. Pass to Vucevic. DeRozan outside. The shot that time not on target. Some solid defense from Martin. Here's Butler. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It's on Zach Levine. At six foot seven, Jimmy Butler is no slouch down there on the block. Well, the great ones make their mark in the playoffs, and Jimmy Butler has certainly done that. Some Herculean performances when the chips were down. Butler hits them both. And granted, last year's playoffs, Jimmy Butler became the first player since Jordan to author multiple 40-point, four-steal games in a single series. Oh, and in 2020, the third player ever to record a 40-point triple-double in the finals. I mean, just legendary stuff. Outside Levine. Clock at six. Here's Caruso. Yes, great play by DeRozan to set him up. Caruso's got his third bucket of the night. That's good awareness from DeRozan. Spots the open man. That speaks to his all-around game. And we just had to see that mobile one drive one more time. Great stuff. Yeah, a double-digit deficit. They're going to have to play better. They need more of this kind of aggressive play. Caruso misses. He had more than enough room to hit that. Just couldn't make it happen. Adebayo finds Butler. Shoots over Levine. It's rebounded by Levine. Chicago's gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Into the lane. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. The defense in a tough situation. They know Levine loves the jump shot, but he can also put it on the floor and take it to you. And he drops a first. Free throws good from Levine. When it comes to scoring, Zach Levine is just getting better and better. Every season, he comes back a stronger shooter. Pass to Hero. And it's Chicago with a board. Here's Levine. Off the mark. Had a chance there to trim it to single digits. Very cool start to the second half. One for five. Looking for some continuity. And he drops in the layup off the glass. 
Levine's got four points this quarter. The added strength coming into play. Zach Levine just shrugging off the contact inside. Hero, the pass to Adebayo. Now here's Lowry. The three is up. And it's cleared by Vucevic. Vucevic has got four rebounds in the game. From the high post. And it's DeRozan missing. The Heat have gotten just one of five shots to drop since halftime. Martin, the pass to Butler. Hero outside. And he lobs it up. And Vucevic with the block. This is the next step for Nikola Vucevic. Can he start to become a better defender and shot blocker? And the basket by DeRozan. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. The Heat with the lead. Hero outside. Back to Butler. Martin against DeRozan. Martin, the pass to Butler. And there's the whistle. They'll pin that one on Nikola Vucevic. That's his first foul of the game. On defense, the Bulls. Just four points. That's all they've given up here in the second half. And just unable to get anything going tonight. I mean, his teammates have really bailed him out. Lowry against Beverly. Pass to Vucevic. Caruso outside. Shot clock at six. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. That'll belong to Kyle Lowry. But about Caruso, he's not a stat stuffer, Smitty. But he does everything. No doubt about that, B.A. Not flashy on the court. But at the end of the night, he's done a little bit of everything. The ultimate floor general. And that's good as he hits both shots. And we've seen some good free throw shooting in the second half. Hero outside. Butler passes to Martin. Lowry with it. Pass to Adebayo. Outside Butler to win the drought. That shot off. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Here's Levine for three. Adebayo grabs the board. Miami has got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Hero against Caruso. Outside Butler. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Butler's got six here in the quarter. Wow, the strength of Jimmy Butler fends off defenders well when he goes up to score. Here's Levine. Rebound by the Heat. Butler's got six rebounds now in the game. Over Levine. No good off the back of the rim. Chicago with the ball. They've gone on a 10-2 run. Not allowing much. Beverly on the wing. Hounded by Adebayo. Beverly, the pass to Vucevic. Shoots from 14. No good that time. And Miami will go the other way with it. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Pass to Hero. Outside for Butler. No luck on that one. Good work defensively by Caruso. On the wing, Levine, hounded by Adebayo. Here's Vucevic. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Levine. If you give Vucevic room to fire, he will, especially from the mid-range area. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over. And the Heat with some changes. Kevin Love's checked in for Bam Adebayo. Struess comes in for Martin. And Oladipo is subbed in for Hero. Outside Struess. 
Oladipo against White. Good work there as it goes. And the Heat lead by seven. So resourceful. When Oladipo's looking for any opening, he puts in a lot of effort on offense. Williams on the wing, covered by Struess. The sumo can't hit. Their strong work ethic has been evident on the glass. Really getting after it and being physical. Oladipo, the pass to Butler. Over to Rosen. Here's Struess. The three-pointer off the mark. Oh, it's stolen by Butler. And the shot goes. And now it's a nine-point heat lead. And they're just taking what the defense gives them. And right now, that's the interior. Outside White. Here's Vucevic. Sinks that one from the post. Vucevic has gotten four this quarter. Rapid fire by Vuce. He gets the ball and doesn't even think about it. He just shoots. Here's Butler. Off the left rim and out. Here's Chicago now. They're on a 14-6 run. And it's DeRozan missing. That was excellent contest, preventing him from making something that's usually automatic. Lowry, the pass to Love. Chicago grabs the miss. Vucevic has got his eighth rebound here tonight. Down low, DeRozan. And the dunk by DeRozan. He's on a roll. Can't let DeRozan get into rhythm. He will torch you all night. Butler with the ball. He's got 27. And the call is going to be, yes, an illegal screen. Well, the league has put an emphasis to crack down on illegal screens. Yes, the last few years, the rules changes have tended to benefit the offenses. This evens things out a bit. Robinson, he's checked in for Miami. And a change for the Bulls. Jones is checked in. Pass to DeSumo. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And the first one at the line is good. Both shots good from the strike. 40 seconds left in the third. Oladipo outside. Pass to Struess. Outside Robinson. Vucevic with a steal. If you can, use up the clock and route to the last shot. But you know, this is where your patience is tested. If you shoot too quickly, you give your opponent a chance to close out the quarter. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. No good on that one. No luck that time either. Rare sight. How often does he fail to capitalize at the line? Robbed. And he hits the jumper for two. The Sunmu's gotten four this quarter. We talk about Williams' physical abilities, but right there, you see the awareness and willingness to be unselfish. Jimmy Butler getting it done for the Heat. 27 on the night. He's had it his way. We'll be right back with you shortly. And meanwhile, Eric Spolstra rallying the troops. Question challenge. I got ball moving. Ball moving. No hold. No hold. Moving the ball is so important to Coach Spo. It helps make the offense run smoothly. When you move the ball, more scoring opportunities open up. And we return now to the final quarter of coverage for the NBA play-in game. We've got Kevin Love. Tyler Hero is out there with Max Truce. 
Then there's Caleb Martin. And it's Robinson in at the three. That's the group in the game for the Heat. And no lack of aggression on that move. Good for the 2K drive. Whoa, a drive like that is the kind of play that can shift the entire outcome of a close game like this one. Martin, left side. Four on the clock. Over Jones. No good. A bit long that time. Right idea, but just too much heat on him defensively, even with the fadeaway. Beverly, the pass to Vucevic. Uses the glass on the layup. Now it's a three-point Bulls lead. There are no easy comebacks, but they really had to dig deep for this one. Tremendous composure on display. When they were down big, they did not panic. They just stuck with the game plan. Robinson passes to Love. And it's cleared by Vucevic. Vucevic has got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Alex Caruso, he can make that pass in his sleep. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Hero, the pass to Robinson. Now Struess. Martin outside. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It's going to belong to Nikola Vucevic. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for Chicago? It's just a passing clinic from them in this game. Solid communication and unselfish play all around. And we can't forget about how ferocious they've been cutting to the rim, just going right at defenders and finding ways to finish. Adebayo's checked in for Miami. Lowry comes in for Robinson. Outside Levine. Pass to DeRozan. Vucevic in the post. Hounded by Adebayo. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. Martin, the pass to Lowry. Hero outside to tie it up. It's hauled in by Beverly. Chicago leading. Here's DeRozan. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. This is no surprise. With his athleticism, DeRozan, one of the league's best at getting to the line. Free throw, no good. He hits the second from the line. It's important to stretch this lead out as much as possible right now, and that's exactly what he did there. Lowry, the pass to Struess. Back to Lowry. And if you're just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. Pass to Adebayo. Shoots over Vucevic. No good. Off the front rim. The Bulls have gone three of four in the fourth and looking confident on offense. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Max Struess picks one up. <laughs> Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. And he makes a first. Both free throws good from Levine. Just about three minutes through the fourth and final quarter here. Miami calls timeout. And I'm sure the players will be staying hydrated with some Gatorade during this timeout. It's so important that they maximize their ability to recharge during a short break like this.
Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Over that last break, I got a chance to hear what Eric Spolster said to the team. He called out their ball control, saying, quote, no more turnovers. That has to be the mindset. We need to stop rushing and start dictating. And Ali, thanks. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Smitty, he's a tremendous underdog story. Max Struess started his college career in Division II. And then B.A. Max ended up transferring to a D1 after two years, scoring over a thousand points at two different schools. Max is the rare player to start D2 and end up in the NBA. He's perfect from the line this time. Boy, this lead is razor thin. Yeah, B.A., and there's a chance to extend that right here. Back to Beverly. To the wing on the left. Clock at six. And out of bounds. The Heat will take it. Unforced turnovers. They'll drive your coach insane. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've played about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter here. Levine against Struess. Pass to Adebayo. And finished off by Adebayo. Ferocious finish. Bam's natural strength is next level. Outside Levine. Caruso outside. Outside Levine. Off target from outside. His struggles from the field continue. Yet, they still hold the lead. The Bulls have gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. Another shot. Yes! And the foul! It goes on Bam out of bio. Puts the body control on full display. Levine's good at adjusting to contact. That free throw good from Levine. For Miami, they've got one out of six shots to fall in this final quarter. Not ideal. Hero, the pass to Adebayo. Hero against Caruso. And finished off by Adebayo. Rolling off the pick, Bam is very mobile. Finds good spacing and his shot. The Bulls have gone four of seven from the field in the fourth quarter. Lowry against Beverly. Outside Levine. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Levine's got nine points in the quarter. In this period, they're feeding him, and he's feeling it. And so the ball out of bounds. Hero touched it last. Jimmy Butler's checked in for Struess. Here's Levine. Pass to DeRozan. The 15-footer. And it's good. Credit Levine with the assist. Levine's got three assists tonight. Butler passes to Martin. Now here's Lowry. Beverly defending. Lowry, no good. The Bulls have gone six for nine here in the fourth quarter. The 11-footer. No good on the shot. Some solid defense from Martin. Lowry outside. Chicago grabs the miss. Levine's got seven rebounds in the game. Caruso. Count the basket. That's all focused by Alex Caruso. Absorbing the contact and getting the finish. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Pass to Hero. This one for three. They grab their own miss. Second chance effort. Vucevic with some nice D. The Bulls have gone seven for 11 so far in the fourth. Beverly against Lowry. Beverly, the pass to Vucevic. 
Six to shoot. And here's DeRozan. And the dunk by DeRozan. When DeRozan gets to the rim like that, you know how it's going to end. Outside Butler. Lowry against Beverly. Pass to Hero. Butler with the ball. Will it go? Here's Adebayo. He's got another one. That's 10 for 15 now. The confidence continuing to grow off the board. Adebayo takes it right back up. Outside Levine. Here's Caruso. Pass to Beverly. Now DeRozan. Now here's Vucevic. Over Adebayo. Jimmy Butler with a rebound. Butler's got eight rebounds in the game. Here's Martin. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Two shots. Foul. Two. The first one falls. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Here's DeRozan. From down in the low post, it goes. DeRozan's got seven points for the quarter. Are you serious? <laughs> what a sweet move. Broke his ankles on that one. There's a minute 54 left in the fourth quarter. Outside Levine. Pass to Beverly. Back to Levine. Caruso outside. Down to five on the shot clock. DeRozan with the ball. Beverly for three. It's not going to go for him. Martin with the ball. Guarded by Vucevic. And finished off by Adebayo. The veteran point guard, Kyle Lowry, is terrific at setting the table for uncovered teammates. Butler against Levine. Back to Beverly. And it's good. Credit Levine with the assist. Levine's got assist number five here tonight. Miami has gone 0 for 3 here in the fourth. Hero against Caruso. Now here's Hero. The D's right on him. That shot is off. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Well, Grant, this game looks just about over. B.A., all they really need to do is just work that clock, don't turn it over, and this game is a wrap. Pass to Vucevic. The Bulls need to get off a shot. Tries it from the top of the key, and it's off the back of the rim. No good. At this point, it just feels like it's over. They couldn't make enough plays when it mattered. Interesting game, though, in terms of some of the matchups. So the first one drops, and that brings him with an eight. He's not like a lot of superstars. Jimmy Butler will call you out if you're on his team. All he wants to do is win. This is why you want ball movement and player movement. And that's made it hard for the defense to key in on any one individual. Pass to Terry. Takes a three. Adebayo grabs the board. And here's Struess from outside the arc. And there it is. The Chicago Bulls come away with a huge win. A monumental effort. Credit the coaching staff for a great game plan. And the players executed. Yeah, B.A. I mean, it shows the strength of this league from top to bottom. As the 10 seed, they now have a chance at the postseason. <laughs> it's just remarkable. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks so much. Damar, a big-time road win for you guys. How were you able to get it done? We came out aggressive. Both ends. We knew it was going to be tough. Um, it's a great team. We understood if we came in here and played with the intensity that we know how to play with, uh, we can walk out of here with a victory. You match that intensity. Congrats on the win. Allie, thank you as always. And that's going to do it for us.
This play-in game is wrapped up as the final playoff picture becomes clear. For Steve Smith, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, I'm Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching this 2K Sports coverage of the NBA.